Donald Trump has always put America first, and he has earned four more years as president. With his leadership, we did what Barack Obama and Joe Biden refused to do. We stood up for America, and we stood against our enemies. Former U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations Nikki Haley last night contrasting President Trump's vision for foreign policy to that of the Obama-Biden administration. Day two of the Republican National Convention continues today, and GOP leaders will continue to highlight how their vision for America differs from the one Democrats put forward last week. James Carafano joins us now, and he's the Vice President for National Security and Foreign Policy at the Heritage Foundation, a conservative think tank. James, looking at the lineup of Tough on China speakers, you have Senator Tom Cotton and Secretary Pompeo, who are set to speak today. Nikki Haley spoke last night. Is the Trump administration moving toward a more aggressive approach with China? Well, I, I think the administration is essentially doing what it, it said it was going to do since day one. When the president came into office, they published a national security strategy. These things are publicly required to be published by law. Um, it's Since we've been doing it for a couple of decades, it's actually the first one where we had a president come in and say, this is what I'm going to do and actually lay it out and actually follow that like a blueprint. So this is often called the era of great power competition, that the chief threats to US interests around the world are Iran, China, North Korea, Russia, and uh, the president's largely framed a foreign policy to deal with those concerns. He's been consistent on that since the beginning of his, his presidency. And I, I think, uh, Look, I, I think the president will be consistent on that if he gets reelected. Look, to be honest, I think if a Democratic president gets reelected, the, the reality of geopolitics doesn't change. I'm not sure they have a, a lot more options. What do you think the president will highlight in regard to trade policy, specifically between the U.S. and China, especially with all the talks and the trade deal and, and the progress on, on that specifically? Well, I mean, I think the U.S. has been very clear that it is interested in continuing the phase one trade deal. Uh, that's really a good deal for both economies. I mean, despite all the rhetoric and concerns about China, look, China is an economic force in the world. Everybody does business with China. We do business with China. We'll continue to do that. What the U.S. strategy is really designed to do is to stop the malicious behavior and continue the things that are beneficial for both countries. But the U.S. has also signaled that it's interested in improving economic relations with, with Taiwan. And, and a lot of people think that the free trade deal with Taiwan is, is in the offing as well. That would be an interesting dynamic to see how the Chinese respond to that. So, again, I just want to make sure we've got uh, some, some commentary on this. What do you think the president will highlight when it comes to the trade deal? At this point in, in the conversation between the two countries, do you think he'll bring up something in particular um, during his speeches this week? Well, I, you know, again, I, the, the U.S. has been, I think, very strong out of the box on saying we're going to deal with the malicious Chinese behavior and we're going to do things that are good for the American economy. And I think that the duality of that message that I think will continue because honestly, that's the right rational policy. James Carafano with the Heritage Foundation. Thank you. Hey, thanks for having me.